welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk about this my updated setup but before that do you remember this we gotta go big or go home we're down to the goal now a lot has changed since then we've got a new desk new gadgets new location and we're going to talk all about it today so grab a drink grab some food and let's get right into it the desk is by a company called Doc, and they custom built this for me. I will have a separate video that will include me unboxing and setting it up for you guys, but in short, it's a sit-stand desk and comes with programmable options on the touch controller to set your preferred desk height. The desktop is made of premium oak and is 33mm thick. The whole top is 180cm wide and 90cm deep. I customized mine to include a sliding drawer and a black frame. This is by far the best desk I've ever owned and in my opinion the quality of the products are outstanding. I also ordered the laptop riser from them and this awesome desk shelf. As you can see they both match the colour of the desk perfectly which is exactly what I wanted. Before we continue I've got something really exciting to show you and I thought it would be a great opportunity to bring you along with me for the unboxing. My friends over at Ugreen have just released the very first Nexo 300 watt 5 port GAN charger with a single 140 watt output port. This is actually crazy because it means that from one charger you can power pretty much anything at the same time, especially with the faster PD 3.1 charging protocol. At first glance it's exactly what I expect from a Ugreen product, it's a premium design and feels really solid. Space grey matte paint reduces fingerprint marks and it comes with a super long 2 meter power cord allowing you to place it anywhere you need it. With such a high power output and multi ports, it can even power 3 laptops at the same time by the way. Ugreen have actually built in a thermal guard system which keeps connected devices protected from overheating, overcharge and excessive current. This way you don't need to worry about any fire hazards. My setup is configured to power everything I need, which is great, but I do struggle to find an additional power source for things like my Apple Watch, iPad and charger banks. As you can see, I can plug all of these in without any issues and they charge super quick as well. My MacBook Pro is set up already to charge automatically, but one thing to note is that if you are going to use it to charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro, you'll need to use the Apple C MagSafe cable to get the 440 watt power output. This will literally charge your MacBook from zero to 56% in half an hour. Having this charger in the setup is going to be so practical moving forward, so if you are in the market for a charger, I definitely recommend this one. Now let's get back to the setup tour. This is the same 49 inch ultra wide monitor by LG, which I had in my previous setup. I really struggle working on any other screen size, I'm just so much more productive having all this screen available to me. Not only that, it just looks stunning, it's always the centre of attention and everyone's asking about it. This is the Ucolor O by Uperfect Monitor. It's a 15.6 inch portable OLED monitor. I literally take it wherever I go. It's so handy having a plug and play monitor whenever you need it. The monitor light is the Screen Bar Halo by BenQ. It comes with a wireless controller which allows you to change the color temperature, brightness, and even save your favorite preset. Earlier this year, I upgraded my mouse to the MX Master 3S by Logitech. Coming from the MX Master 3, I really appreciate the silent click now. I'm always getting asked about these wrist rests and they're actually by a company called Delta Hub and they are called the Carpio 2.0. I recommend getting both versions, the left and right handed version. This way you can use them both at the same time and glide from the mouse to the keyboard. Their main purpose is to keep your wrists elevated while you're working long hours. I'm also using their minimalist desk pad. It's the medium size in dark grey. The keyboard I'm using is the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini in grey. The compact layout and typing experience is absolutely fantastic, highly recommend it. This is an ergonomic chair by Siho and it's called the V1. Compared to traditional office chairs, ergonomic chairs like this V1 are designed to reduce back pain by integrating adjustable features to keep you comfortable. I have switched out the wheels with some rollerblade wheels I found from Amazon. Apart from that, the chair was super easy to set up. It comes with an adjustable headrest and I've personally not had any back pain in over a year. Highly recommend the V1 to anyone who's looking to buy an ergonomic office chair. To power my setup, I'm using the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip and 32 gig of RAM. Powerhouse is an understatement. It runs smoothly with all this gear plugged in. I use it to code, browse the web and create videos. All that while still running as silent as anything. These M chips are game changing, so if you still have an old Intel MacBook, it's time to upgrade. 
I've also customized it with the black carbon skin by the brand. That includes the back of the laptop and the trackpad. I'm using the CalDigit TS4 Plus hub to bring everything together. This hub is magical. I've got all my peripherals plugged into it and then with one single Thunderbolt 3 cable, it runs into the MacBook Pro offering full charging power as well. I've mounted it under the desk with this 3D printed case which I've reviewed in a previous video. This is the Quadlock Mag Charger which I use mainly as my phone stand and to also charge my phone. These coasters are from minimal desk setups and they come in grey and white. The mic arm is the Rode PSA1 Plus and I've paired that with the Fifine K658D microphone. This is the Loop Deck Live console. Honestly I'm not using it to its full potential but I will soon. This is a die cast model of the Mercedes A-Class, quite easily my favourite car. On the left side of the office I've mounted my pegboards from Ikea along with some accessories. I like using it as storage for some of my old lenses and also providing a pleasing aesthetic backdrop. These are the WH-1000XM4 headphones by Sony. To hold the monitor up I'm using the Ergotron HX monitor arm. Alongside that I'm using the Philips Hue Play light bars on the back of the monitor. On the back wall I'm using the Nanoleaf lines with a matte black cover. They offer amazing customization and look stunning especially at night. That's it, that basically sums up everything that's a part of this setup. Now I'm going to try and list everything I can in the description below. Let me know if I miss anything out, fire over a DM and I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, stay tuned for more, subscribe, follow me over on the socials and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.